This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. I'm here with the second and final part of my augmented sombra gun build and in this video I am just painting, priming, and adding on the final details. What I'm doing here is adding painter's tape to any areas that I don't want to get painted or covered in like the primer which will be wood glue or a spray paint. So it's all of the transparent pink parts that I need to light up and glow later on. I took the non-sharp edge of an X-Acto knife to help me get painter's tape into these little tiny areas. I cut small little slivers of painter tape and then carefully stuck those in. It was really tedious and kind of finicky, but I did it. Eventually got it covered and I had to pull it out after painting it when I was removing all the tape using tweezers. Now I'm priming the entire thing with wood glue. I do about three layers. Make sure to let the layers fully dry in between each layer. I didn't have any Bondo's gap filler, so I took some wood filler that I found at my local hardware store and used that instead to help fill in the seams and just like any uneven texture. I applied that. It was a little bit tricky because it didn't really want to stick to the foam or the, the wood glue very well, which is odd because it's wood filler, but anyways, I got it. I got it to stick, let that dry, sanded it down so that everything was smoothed out, and then I did about another two layers of wood glue. Once that was dry, I used silver spray paint to just spray paint the entire gun silver and then like three to five layers of black acrylic on what is the majority of the gun. And here I am painting pink over the pink sections. It's still transparent and it still lights up and everything, but it needed more pink to it because the lights I originally picked were like this, supposed to be this pinkish purple colored and they turned out to be more blue than purple. So it was starting, it was looking blue and I needed it to look more pink. So I was hoping that by applying some paint over these areas, it would help kind of make it pinkish and it helped a little bit, but not very much. I used a marker to write on these like small details and just like random numbers or like dotted like pattern basically on the back of her gun here. The marker was a permanent marker by the way and now I'm taking some blue acrylic paint and adding on just some more of the details that are around her gun. You're gonna want to like look at a reference photo and see all the various details her guns have and here I'm mixing up some gray paint because I didn't own it just normal gray paint but you know black and white make gray so it worked out and I'm adding just scuff marks to everything 
and I'm using a reference photo for this. I'm looking at where there's like some scuff marks and scratches that her guns have and trying to mimic that. So right now it looks a little bit, you know, bold, like it's very bright and in your face, but I'll kind of like diffuse it and soften out these scuff marks by like slightly dabbing some black paint over it in the future and just kind of watering it down a little bit more. I spray painted some foam. It was like two millimeter foam with silver spray paint and no primer so that it would stay flexible. I just did quite a few layers of spray paint because the foam likes to like soak up some of it. And this is to make the little tubes, like the little silver metal looking tubes that are at the end of these more kind of transparent tubes. They're not fully transparent, but like the tubes that look like actual tubing and then they connect to like a metal piece on the gun and then go somewhere in the gun as you can see here. The little tubing I used is Christmas ornaments or decorations of some sort. It's like called Christmas tubing or something. I have no idea what it's used for. I've never seen it before. I saw it at the dollar store last Christmas or so and was like, this might come in handy. And it eventually did. So anyways, I'm cutting out rectangles in the foam, like small tiny little rectangles, gluing that to the end of each tube. And I'm just measuring out the tube as I go along to see what the length I need it to be will be. And then gluing those into place. Make sure to hold the glue because it kind of does want to, you know, unstretch itself. Um, so it might pull the glue or the pieces that you just glued off or apart if you don't let it fully dry before letting go of the, the, the piece. As you can see here, it kind of wants to come apart again and I found myself having to re-glue it a couple times just because I didn't wait for it to dry fully. I'm using the same transparent folder that I've used throughout the gun and the other, you know, places where the transparent folder is to create the little thing that's on the top of her gun. I'm not sure what it is. Is it a scope? I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be or not, but I basically, to create this shape, just traced it out by placing the gun on the table, like that part of the gun on the table and traced around it to make sure that the bottom of it would fit and then kind of winged the rest of the shape. That turned out fine that way. I didn't really need to put too much effort into patterning that piece out. Anyways, I'm now taking white acrylic paint to paint on the small details that that piece has. Make sure to seal everything with a glossy coat of spray paint and that will finish up the gun. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Stick around for future videos and have a lovely day. Bye!